Exciting news. 360 Alberta is doing a series to celebrate local artists and their art. Today, I have artist Linda Finstad. As we know, there are many mediums of art and we want to hear more. Do you work with one medium, two? What's your favorite? Well, I started painting about five years ago and uh, I started with acrylics. And I love painting with acrylics, but what happened, Glenda, when, when the lockdown happened at the beginning of the pandemic, I was out of some of my colors. So I thought, I'm just gonna use what I've got. So I started painting with instant coffee. I know- Instant coffee. Instant coffee. I know it sounds crazy, but a jar of instant coffee has changed the course of my art career entirely. Just using instant coffee, I have written four books, all illustrated with instant coffee. I've created an entire product line of greeting cards, prints, magnets, um, and of course the books. It's completely changed the course of my art career. Not only that, I've been recognized by the, um, I've got to get this right, the Canadian, the National Gallery of Canada, that's the title, the National Gallery of Canada reached out to me and asked me for my information because they wanted to add me to their list of recognized Canadian artists, which was fabulous. Now, we were talking earlier and I understand that you've got something to tell us about angels. I do. You know, like I was saying, I started this at the beginning of the pandemic. And like us all, I was, I was experiencing that roller coaster of emotions. And I used my angel illustrations to express how I was feeling. I gave them a voice. So depending on my mood, some are sassy and some are sweet. It just depended how, how I was feeling that particular day. And I'm amazed at how popular they have become. But I think it's because they're not your typical angels. Mine have got big bums, frizzy hair, and even bigger attitudes, but they represent everyday people. Well, and you had referred to some are sweet mm -hmm. and some are sassy. And just by what you've shown us a little bit, that indeed is looks like um, you had a lot of fun creating. Oh, yeah, it was absolutely amazing. I'll show you another one. So <laughs> we all tended to put on a little bit of beef over the pandemic. So this one, the, the caption says, um, young at heart, slightly older in other places. <laughs> and bless her heart, she's trying her best. <laughs> now, where can people learn more about your angels, your coffee art, as well as, as your talent, Linda? Well, if you head over to my website, which is just my name, lindafinstad.com, um, you can find out all about Oh, what I do. There's all kinds of things I do, but the coffee is kind of the neatest thing I do right now. You also are teaching out in the community your work, right? I am. I am. I'm glad you mentioned that, Glenda, because a jar of coffee changed my life. I know that sounds very trite, but it really did. So I want to use what I've learned to inspire and encourage people to find their creativity. So I'm doing some free workshops so people can have a go. It can come and experience what it's like. And I'll, te I'll teach them some simple, very, very simple projects. You know, something that anybody can paint because um, I want you to succeed. It's my way of giving back to the community um, because it's been good to me. Thank you for joining me today. This is Glenda Sheard, Community Connector for 360 Alberta.